Hey guys, welcome everyone for this week uh, live PMP Q&A session. So again, I'm back to discuss with you all uh, five sets of questions and I hope you guys are doing good and I hope your exam preparations are going in full swing. So please let me know in the chat box guys whether you could able to see me and hear me and also let me say hi to people. I'm just reading the chat. Hi, Chandan. Chandan, am I audible? Am I loud and clear? Can you able to see me? Good. Then let me see. Hi, hi, Ahmed. Good to see you. I hope you would have booked your exam date by now. Hey, Rakesh. Hi. Good to see you, sir. Hi, Boni. Good to see you as well. Yes, um, I'm doing so good. Thanks for asking. I hope you too as well. Hey, Kumut. Hi. How are you? I hope you're doing good. Hi, Prem. Good evening. Hi, Sandeep. Good to have you here. Hi, Vignesh. I'm doing good, sir. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing great, Sandeep. Excited for having this session as usual. And also, I'm going to make an announcement. So I'm very much excited. Good. Thanks for the feedback, Arun. And I'm just seeing a lot of people are saying hi to me and all of my students. I'm excited. Hi, Karnika. Hi, Sandeep. Hi, Shalya. Hi, Faraz. I hope you're doing good. I'm doing good, Rajesh. I hope you as well. Hi, Namaza. Good. You're attending my session for the first time. But good, you saw all the videos. Welcome, uh, you know, for you. Karthik. <laughs> Yeah, so Karthik is wishing in my native language. So I have to wish him back in my native language. So Vanakam Karthik. Long time been, exactly. I'm expecting your email, Karthik. Good. Okay, guys. So I could able to see a lot of people are joining. And I'm so excited and you guys have uh, again a good five sets of questions to uh, discuss in today's session. So let's get started. Before I get started, <clears throat> normally the people if I see that these are the guys who are participating in my YouTube Q&A session, uh, you know, very often each week I will see these group of people and uh, you would have taken to the surprise by seeing a thumbnail image of my YouTube live Q&A this uh, month, I means this week. So yes, I'm going to make a very important announcement. And uh, I'm going to make that announcement after we complete two, three questions, because I expect some more people to join the session. Of course, all EDU HubSpot students may already know about this announcement. Uh, the people who doesn't know, wait for two, three questions in the middle. I will be making a very important announcement and trust me, you guys are going to love it. Yeah. Good. So let's get started. So we all know the nature of the session, guys. Uh, we all know. So we're going to discuss five sets of questions. So the people who are attending this session for the first time for them, let me explain how this session will be. I will be showing a question. I'll be giving a minute or one minute, 20 or 30 seconds for you guys to answer the question. You guys have to pick an option and you have to put uh, the options on the chat because I want to really see what options you guys are picking. So after that, I will be approaching those questions and you guys have to listen to me or you guys have to watch me how I am approaching the question. And, you know, I'll be revealing the right choices. Yeah, this is how the nature of the session will be. And this continues for five questions. Good. Let's get started. Again, guys, 
keep your fingers crossed after two or th after the third question i'm going to make an important announcement yeah maybe the people who are share, uh, you know following our uh, social media channel you would have got to know about it but i am the first human making an announcement so i'm excited for that okay guys let's get started not to waste any time just a sec here we go this is your first question for today's class and yeah for answering this question you guys i'll be giving actually the timer i have set for 60 seconds but i will be giving you 20 30 seconds additional yeah let's get started i'm going to start the timer your time starts now Last 10 seconds, guys. Okay, I'm just smiling by reading the chat. So there is no one unanimous answer. People are juggling between A, B, and C. And also I could able to see some, no D, but A, B, and C. Okay, good. Guys, I don't know how many people have carefully read the question. This is a not question. It's not asking what project manager should do next. It is asking what project manager should not do next. Yeah, good. Okay, guys, this is the normal tradition I follow in uh, each and every session I conduct. Yeah, before I start approaching a question, I always used to start with the three rules which you guys have to follow while you are approaching the scenario based question rule number one every question in the pmp exam is a scenario based question you guys have to spend the quality time i'm saying quality time not more time you guys have to spend quality time in reading the question and you guys have to clearly understand the scenario which was framed in the question this is rule number one Rule number two is you have to understand what was asked in the question. Yeah, only when you understand what was asked, you can able to pick the right choice. Yeah. Then rule number three, our ED HubSpot famous elimination technique. You have to apply that in the options you guys have. Elimination technique is not about picking the right, right choice. It will help you to eliminate the wrong option. So that will automatically take you to the right choice. So moving forward for all the five questions I'm going to approach, I'm going to follow these three rules and then I'm going to approach these questions. Okay, good. So now let me try this question. You are working as a project manager for a hybrid project. In the previous sprint, your project team put in a lot of efforts to address the several blocked items on the Kanban board. The blocked items still happen to remain as is. The sprint retrospective meeting reveals that all the impediments can be tracked back to a particular stakeholder. Together with the team, you implemented engagement strategies to engage the stakeholder, but she remains resistant. Which of the following options reveal what should the project manager not to do next? Guys, it is a not question. This question is asking out of the four options, which you will not do. 
you know to make this stakeholder supportive or to have a good relationship with the say stakeholder yeah okay let's apply rule 1 and rule 2 let me try to frame up what i understand from the question i am working as a project manager for a hybrid project in the previous sprint my team has put in lot of efforts to solve lot of blocked items on the kanban board irrespective of those effort the blocked items was remain as is means they couldn't able to solve it their effort went wasted so in the sprint review meeting we discussed about this and we found out so all our effort got wasted because of a particular stakeholder all the impediments are rooting to a particular stakeholder so what you guys have to do as a project manager that's what you did so together with the team you implemented some of the engagement strategies to make that stakeholder supportive but that person is still resistant as a project manager what i should not do next it is a not question okay good see guys how i spend quality time in reading the question i have clearly understand the scenario which was being framed and also i have clearly understand what was asked now let's apply elimination technique in the options option a identify an influencer who can make the resistant stakeholder supportive of the project looks like an excellent choice see there is a concept in leadership when you cannot influence a stakeholder what you have to do is you have to find a person who can influence that stakeholder and you have to influence that person it's called influencing the influencer that is what exactly you are doing in option a so what you are doing is you are identifying an influencer who can influence this resistant stakeholder yeah option a is something definitely you can do but the question is asking what you won't do i can do option a this means it's not a good choice because this is a not question let's read b add a column in the kanban board which displays the stakeholders in order of their active support of the project goal and make that as an information radiator no this is something you know i'm actually literally shaming people here so what i'm doing i'm adding a separate column in the kanban board i'm just classifying hey these uh, group of people are supportive these group of people are resistive and then i'm putting that in the information radiator by seeing that the stakeholder will even get pissed off this is something i won't do for sure i won't do the question is asking what i should not do next b is something i won't do at all i don't shame people i'm comparing b and a for me b looks like a better choice so i'm eliminating option a now it's between b c and d okay let's read option c escalate this to the project sponsor and seek the sponsor support okay the people who are following me on the youtube i always say that you know whenever you are seeing escalation that is something you know it's a kind of an extreme step it's like you know you're shying away from your project responsibilities okay but in the pmp exam we have to always select out of two the best option right so now let's compare b and c i would say that b is something i won't definitely do it rather i can do c i can escalate but i cannot shame people by making that you know uh, public uh, in the kanban board c is gone c i may do it comparing b but b i will definitely not do it this is a not question now it's between b and d let's read d find out a stakeholder who can support that resistant stakeholder we can do that because if you carefully read the question all the impediments are traced back to a particular stakeholder now what you are doing in option d you are finding a stakeholder who can support the stakeholder you know to solve all the impediments d is something i can do it yeah but b would be my pick because this is something i won't do because this is shaming the people no my pick would be option b here okay i hope uh the guys who have picked other options would have understood after my explanation and also you know uh this is the feedback i got from my wife last week she was telling hey gautam after you conclude the session lot of people are wishing you you are not uh, seeing their messages now i made a promise myself you know this time after saying bye to each and every people only then i will be stepping out yeah before that i won't be stepping out yeah that's my promise to you guys 
so the people who are complaining it's blurred or you cannot read the other people are answering so for them it looks good so you have to work at your side the problem is at your end yeah okay guys let's do the next one so after the third question i'm going to make an important announcement yeah so you have to wait for that okay this is the next question i am going to start the timer your time starts now okay let me see the chat okay guys the people who are complaining the screen is blur i have seen a comment from my one of my student shankari so please follow this change the fourth quality setting to high so you should set your resolution to high because for other people things are correctly working so you have to work it out at your end yeah and still if it is not working please try to attend this on your laptop yeah try to skip mobile phones okay now this is a little challenging question only the people have really understood evm concepts they can able to answer this okay let me see the chat i hope the people who are picking options for you guys i believe the screen resolution is good i hope so because only that you are because of that only you are picking option okay most of the people are picking option a and b c okay and d as well okay good okay then this is a challenging question okay let me try this question a project manager presented a work performance report to the steering committee members the report showed the following status which is cpi 0.76 and spi 1.80 as a member of a steering committee what should you infer okay okay in this question i am the member of the steering committee and i am in a steering committee meeting in that meeting a project manager is presenting a work performance report and in that work performance report i am seeing cpi is equal to 0.76 and spi is equal to 1.80 so from this what i should infer see how i read and how i am understanding the question which is very important okay now let's try to understand what is cpi is 0.1 0.76 less than 1 cpi less than 1 is bad it's over budget cp spi greater than 1 is good this means you know i'm ahead of the schedule let's see whether that kind of, that option is available on the four options we have let's read option a the project has met its objectives and during the time the project is under budget and behind schedule okay let me take this piece project is definitely not under budget because cpi is less than 1 this means bad the project is over budget so a is gone i don't want to keep a in the picture now it's between b c and d let's read b the project got successfully completed during the time the project is over budget and ahead of the schedule okay of course the project is over budget because it is less than 1 it is bad cpa is less than 
and CPA SPA is greater than one. This means I'm ahead of the schedule. This piece I'm convinced with. But let's read this one. The project got successfully completed. Okay. When the project will get successfully completed? Ask this question to yourself. When all the work planned, when it is completed, we can say that the project is successfully completed. This means the planned value, which is the work which is planned and the earned value, you know, the work which is completed should be the same. Only then we can say the project is completed. When we say project is completed, definitely SPA will not be greater than one. It will be equal to one because planned value and earned value will be the same number. What, what is the formula for SPA? EV divided by PV, right? That is the formula for SPA. So what happens when EV and PV are the same? We will always get one. Keep in mind, guys, when the project is successfully completed, SPA should be always one because what I planned, I'm done. Yeah. So since SPA is greater than one, I don't think so. The project got successfully completed. I'm not a big fan of this option. Let's read C. The project got terminated and during the time the project is over budget and ahead of the schedule. This looks like a very good choice. As I already mentioned, when the project got successfully completed, planned value and earned value should be the same. When the planned value and earned value is the same, SPA should be always one. Option C can be the possible reason for this. Project got terminated means in between the project got terminated. And during the time, the project is over budget and ahead of the schedule. I'm comparing B and C. For me, C looks like a better choice. B is gone. A and B is gone. Now it's between C and D. The team member have worked over time and made sure the project is ahead of the schedule and under budget. No, the project is not under budget. Straight away, I can eliminate option D. My pick would be option C here. Good. Okay, guys, I hope now you understand, you know, after my explanation, why option C is correct. Always keep in mind when the project is completed, SPA should be always one because planned value and earned value will be the same. Okay, good. Okay, let's move on. After the next question, I'm going to give you an important announcement. Yeah, wait for it. Okay, this is the next question for you guys. Just a second. Okay, so what I do, what I did is I have increased the resolution. So because of that, you may not see the timer, but you can read the questions better. Yeah. But I will give you exactly one minute. So do try to do within one minute. Okay, good. Okay, before this, I want to ask, I want to answer this particular question. Are in the projects which gets completed ahead of the schedule. When it com complete ahead of the schedule, also SPA will be one. SPA, what is SPA? EV divided by PV. EV and e when the project is completed, EV and PV will be always the same Namaza. See, when you want to really understand my statement, you should have a clean understanding of the earned value management concepts. Only then you will clearly understand, you know, why I'm saying when the project is completed, SPA will be one. Yeah. Good. Okay, guys, let's move on. This is your next question. And your time already started. Yeah, try this.
ओके लास्ट टेन सेकेंड्स गुड ओके डी इज द यूनानिमस पिक बाय एवरीबडी गुड ओके आई डोंट नो वेदर दिस इज अ करेक्ट चॉइस और नॉट लेट मी ट्राई इट ओके बिफोर आई एम ट्राइंग दिस क्वेश्चन सी I was so happy after my last uh, weekly Q and A session. You know, after the session, I was seeing that for my video, you guys have almost I got seventy, eighty likes just after the session. So I was so excited. You know, that brought me to uh, bring some challenging question for this particular session. So if you guys have liked or liking my session, please like, smash the like button, guys. So. i am getting motivated everyone needs some motivation right so you are just a click will be a motivation for me good okay guys let me try this question i know i'm asking for likes <laughs> i know but please do so you are working as a project manager for a hybrid project your team has produced all the deliverables as per the schedule and presented them to the project stakeholder but after the presentation you were shocked because the stakeholders have given the negative feedback stating the project deliverables were not fulfilled as a project manager how will you prevent the situation in future okay i am a project manager my team has produced the deliverables then we presented those deliverables to the project stakeholders as a pm i was shocked because of the negative feedback the stakeholders are stating the project deliverables were not fulfilled so as a pm how i will be preventing this situation in the future okay i cleanly understood the question now let me approach the options i have after identifying all the stakeholders I review the project charter with them looks like a better choice in future once i identify all the stakeholders when i review the project charter with them so i can say that hey these are all the high level requirements i'm going to implement these are all the project goals i'm going to achieve so with that i can make sure that stakeholders are aware of what my project is option a looks like a good choice for me let's read b review the quality management plan with all stakeholders okay see what we have in the quality management plan the quality assurance and quality control process we going to follow as a part of the project now what was asked in the question ask this question to yourself whether option b is really solving the problem what is the problem we have stakeholders are complaining project deliverables were not fulfilled so this means you have produced the deliverables which doesn't meet the needs of the stakeholder so moving forward you have to collect the needs of the stakeholder and that should be your requirements you have to consider those as your requirements reviewing the quality management plan is not addressing the challenge what i have in the question for me still a looks like a better choice than b considering a i am eliminating option b now it's between a c and d let's read c execute a risk analysis upon obtaining the stakeholder new requirements okay i can do this not a bad choice but if i carefully read the question it is asking how i will prevent the situation in the future it is not asking what i will do next if it is asking what i will do next i can collect the stakeholder new requirements means the stakeholders are stating hey project deliverables were not fulfilled i can ask to the stakeholder okay what is your expectation what you really want and then i can collect the new requirements but question is not asking that question is asking how will you prevent it option c not a good choice for me comparing option a for me a looks like still a better choice let's read d while defining the requirements and project scope analyze the stakeholder needs and expectation excellent choice this is directly address the problem what i have in the question as i already mentioned stakeholders are complaining project deliverables were not fulfilled moving forward when you are collecting the stakeholder needs and expectation which is stakeholder requirements and you are considering those while you are defining your project requirements and when you are defining your project scope the problem will not get repeated in the future now d is the better choice for me comparing c and a i am eliminating c and a my pick would be d yeah guys this is something you have to have it in mind 
whenever you are picking an option evaluate yourself that option is really addressing the problem what i have in the question when you are asking this question to yourself trust me guys you guys will always pick right choices yeah good good okay Ahmed told me you deserve more than like okay Ahmed when you are gifting me something I won't shy away in getting it <laughs> no just joking okay guys so now it's the time to make the important announcement which I committed uh, you know tomorrow on our EDU HubSpot YouTube channel we are going to launch a new video of Varun so in that we have explained. 15 most important questions which are coming in the real PMP exam not exactly like that you know it will be similar to it trust me for creating those questions you know there are a lot of efforts behind went inside you know we have really analyzed a lot of questions we have collected feedback from people and that video is almost around close to one hour but for coming up with that end product the effort behind our team is really huge you know, so a lot of people have really worked on uh, writing those questions and uh, Varun has set up his studio and uh, for reviewing, even my son was helping me. Don't forget to watch the bloopers video at the end. Uh, you know, that will be so funny. Yeah. And uh, from our editor, a lot of work has been gone. So it is a complete team effort. Yeah. And tomorrow the video is all yours. So we are giving that video for free. And uh, Varun normally won't record these kind of videos often. The last time he recorded that video was around last year, same time. Yeah. And uh, again, we have decided, okay, let's launch a video. So it has been a very long time. Yeah. So you, video is all yours tomorrow. So please do watch that. And my students, anyway, I'll be writing an email, but I'm announcing upfront tomorrow. Stop doing all the homeworks. Video will be launched. Indian time, you know, uh, evening around 6 p.m. U.S. time morning 8, 8.30 p.m. Eastern, it will be get launched. This is, this is not an exact time. I'm just giving an approximation. Stop doing, my students, stop doing all the homeworks. First watch the 15 videos and let me know whether you guys have liked it or not. Yeah. Good. Okay, guys. So this was the important announcement I wanted to make. So be ready. You will love it. And don't forget to watch the bloopers. And Neha, thank you so much. Uh, Neha is saying, hi, Gautam, dropped in to say thanks. Thanks to Varun for his mentorship and thanks to Gautam for an excellent bootcamp. Thank you for EDU HubSpot to giving a neuroscientist a PMP. <laughs> I know Neha, uh, yeah, we already talked yesterday. So I'm so happy for you making a PhD a PMP. I'm so happy for you and glad to know and yeah. You have to celebrate your success and hats off to your hard work. Yes, for us, you definitely you can see the video because that video will stay in YouTube. You can see how much ever time you want. But most importantly, see the bloopers and uh, give a comment. Yeah, how the bloopers are. Good. Let's move on now. Okay, let's move on to the fourth question. Good. This is your fourth question. Guys, considering the resolution, I'm not showing you the timer because I want to make the question bigger. So I'll give you one minute for it. So please try this question, guys. Your time, your time is on.
okay so let me see the chat Brijesh picked option B and Ratna picked B and people are picking C as well okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Steph I like your confidence whenever you're putting an option you are saying it's definitely B good okay and most of the people see okay let me take up this question Adam is a project manager of an automotive project tasked to deliver a brake pedal. One of the releases for the product did not include the urgent changes from the customer. Customer is not happy because they informed the team about the changes in one of the meetings team missed it. Which of the following options should Adam carry out to avoid this problem in the future? Okay. Consider I'm an Adam. I'm a, I'm Adam is a project manager. I tasked to deliver a brake pedal. So in any questions which I do, right, I'll always keep this automotive into the picture because I'm coming from that background. Yeah, I cannot uh, restrict myself to write those things. Adam is the project manager of an automotive project tasked to deliver a brake pedal. One of the releases of the product, you know, uh, we have made a release and in that customer asked team to consider an urgent changes, but team didn't implement it, team missed it. So how order Adam should make sure that, you know, these problems can be avoided in the future. Okay. Now let's apply elimination technique. Option A, propose the team to increase the frequency of backlog refinement session. Very good choice. What is backlog refinement? Agile project is about change. Product owner will be continuously refining the backlog means, you know, refining means adding any new requirements in the in the product backlog removing any new requirement changing the priority of the requirements this will happen throughout the project now when moving forward when we are increasing the frequency of the backlog refinement session definitely when customer is giving these kind of changes we will make sure those changes are going inside the product backlog a looks like a very good choice let's read b execute an ad hoc sprint retrospective and facilitate the team to find the reason why the team has missed it. Okay. Now it's time to apply the Neil Armstrong technique, which is who is Neil Armstrong. He is the person who landed on the moon first. You should have the same mindset while you're approaching the PMP question. You have to always pick an option, which you will be doing first. The people who are following me for a long time, I always say that whenever you have a problem, as a first step, you have to identify the cause of the problem. And for addressing the cause, we have to implement the corrective action. That's how it is. That's how things work. Yeah, even in the personal and professional life. Yeah. So now if you carefully read option B, what I'm doing, I'm executing an ad hoc sprint retrospective and I'm taking this topic and I'm trying to find out the reason why my team didn't consider it. After finding the reason, you know, if the reason is, you know, if, if I found out that, okay, team has not conducted frequently the backlog refinement session, if that is the reason I will do option A. Yeah. So as a first step, I will do option B and then I will try to find out what is the reason, what is the cause, and then I will come up with the corrective action. So I'm comparing B and A, as I already mentioned, I'll do B first. A is gone. Now it's between B, C and D. Let's read C. Perform product backlog refinement with the team and product owner before the upcoming iteration. For the same reason why I eliminated option A, I am eliminating C as well. As a first step, I will find the reason why team has missed it. Root cause. Maybe after that, I may implement option C as a corrective action. C is gone. Now it's between B and D. Inform the product owner and ask product owner to take care of this in future. If you do it here, you're shying away from your responsibilities. Question clearly asked how Adam has to prevent this problem in the future. You as a project manager are a problem solver, impediment resolver. When team has a problem, you have to pitch in and you are you have to solve it. By doing B, you are doing it. So D is gone. My pick would be B here. And B is the right choice. Good. 
i hope you guys are clear the people who picked other options yeah please keep in mind guys problem first step identify the root cause good let's move on this is the last question of today's class i'm going to give you one minute for this yeah your time starts now please try this guys rethink your rethink your option pick an option which you will do first good i am back so most of the people are picking option b and i could see that some people have picked c as well good okay let me try this question a new stakeholder of a hybrid project which is strategically important for the organization is in attending the meetings that particular stakeholder is not giving her approval on the deliverables team presenting as a project manager how will you encase this new stakeholder okay a new stakeholder of a hybrid project that person is not attending the meetings and that person is not giving the approval on the deliverables the team is presenting so now actually i i feel that this guy is resistant the new stakeholder is being resistant to the project as a project manager how will you encase this new stakeholder how will you make this new stakeholder supportive yeah we have a problem what is the mindset i have shared in the last uh, question when we have a problem always identify cause now with this mindset let's approach this particular question option a conduct a meeting with that stakeholder and present the project schedule and explain the impact on the project you can do it so what you are doing is you are showing an impact to them hey you know this is the project schedule and uh, because of this your non cooperation these are all the impact we have on the project of course you can do it let's read b a is not a bad choice option b review the stakeholder engagement plan for the new stakeholder assess the level of engagement and come up with an engagement strategy excellent choice from the question it is very clear the stakeholder is resistant so i have to encase the stakeholder you as a project manager has to make the stakeholder supportive so what you are doing here you are coming up with an engagement strategy yeah and when you are following this engagement strategy definitely you will be moving this resistant stakeholder to supportive b looks like a better choice than for me then option a i am eliminating option a now it's between b c and d let's read d conduct a meeting with the stakeholder and understand the expectation of the stakeholder looks like an excellent choice now it's time to apply the lomstrong technique which i will do first from the question it is very clear the stakeholder is resistant i want to first conduct a meeting with the stakeholder and i want to understand the expectation of the stakeholder what you really want what is your major expectation what is your major requirements i have to do that first after that i have to come up with an engagement strategy only when i know what that person is really wanting i can define an engagement strategy you know that engagement strategy should address what that person really want you can engage anybody yeah so first i will do option c and after that i'll be doing option b so neil armstrong technique which you will do first you have to always go for it b is gone 
C I will do. Now it's between C and D. Request the project sponsor to brief this new stakeholder and make him or her attending all the relevant meetings. Okay. See, when any news, any stakeholder is resistant, it's your responsibility to make that person supportive. For these kind of problems, you should not go and stand in front of the project sponsor who is very high in his or her position. Yeah. So for me, still option C looks like a better choice. So I'm eliminating D. My pick would be C. As a first step, I will conduct a meeting with a stakeholder and then I will try to understand the expectation of this guy and I will try to understand why this guy is being resistant. And after that, I'll be doing option B. I'll be coming up with some engagement strategy. And my pick would be C here. OK, that's OK. If you guys have uh, picked wronger, make sure that after my explanation, you guys would have you guys made uh, the understanding. Yeah. Good. So with this, we are closing today's class. So as I promised, I'll be staying in the session until I say bye to everybody. So until I respond all your guys' question, until that I'm going to stay in the session. And yeah, my session is concluded. We discussed five questions. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And most importantly, tomorrow is a big day for us. You know, uh, the launch of the video, so which all our team are so much excited. So we have a question mark that not a question mark. You guys will definitely like it. But we have that excitement, okay, how you guys will be reacting and everything. So uh, please like the video. Please like this video also. And please like the video. Tomorrow we are going to launch. And let us know in the comment section whether you guys have really liked the video or not. So that that will motivate us to create more. Yeah. So tomorrow our baby is all yours. Yeah. So I'm looking forward for tomorrow. Especially I'll be... Keep on reading the comments. That means what you guys feel. Yeah. Okay, guys. So we closed our today's session. Most importantly, and uh, I want to announce about my next boot camp as well. So my next boot camp is sixth itself. Normally, I start my boot camp in the mid of a month uh, because you know, you know, on the August month, in the middle of the month, we have in India we have Independence Day. And on the September first week in US, we have a bigger holiday. So considering that, I'm starting my boot camp a little early. Yeah. So if you guys have a target for clearing this PMP exam within September, if you guys are ready to do a hard work, definitely you can go for my boot camp. And if you guys have any doubts on, you know, how EDU HubSpot coaches uh, our students, you know, and if you guys have any questions on how my boot camp works. You are seeing my email ID on the screen. Please don't hesitate to write an email. So trust me, guys, I will reply to each and every email. It's not like only if you guys have questions on the bootcamp, you have to write an email. When you guys have a generic doubts, if you guys are not my students also, please don't hesitate to write me an email. So I will definitely reply to your emails. Yeah. And also, I always love to stay connected with people. Yeah. So I will be putting my LinkedIn ID on the chat. So I would like to stay connected with you all in the LinkedIn. So please send me your request, guys. So this is my LinkedIn profile I have already put. So please give me a send me a connection invite. And also I'm just putting my, you know, this one. What is that? Where it is? Yeah. The enrollment link for my bootcamp. So if you want to enroll, so you can just have a look. So if you just click this link, you will have my bootcamp schedule and all the details. But of course, you can email me. I will also happy to explain. OK, now it's a time to keep up my promise. Let me say bye to everybody and then let me leave. Yeah. OK. First, let me answer question. So. Namaza, your question is stakeholder is in attending attending meeting. See, this means the stakeholder is being resistant. Okay, that is why the stakeholder is not attending the meetings. If you want to engage the stakeholder, if you want to make the stakeholder to attend the meeting, you have to first understand why the stakeholder is not supportive. Yeah, that is the reason I'm conducting a meeting and I'm transparently discussing with that stakeholder 
and then i'm trying to understand why that stakeholder is not attending the meeting based on that i'll be defining some engagement strategy yeah and let me take question from lisfa stakeholder that includes other stakeholder but would most likely to take yes you're right good same thank you i hope you like the session maleshwara good so i uh, i'm so happy to see that not only question and you have learned some good concepts so yeah i cannot resist myself in teaching concept yeah that's me yeah same you said provide more question okay this is something i have uh, already explained in my previous youtube uh, live q and a earlier we were doing 10 sets of questions uh, now i limited to 5 to be very frank the reason is i'm not finding time so the number of students i handle got improved so my entire energy is going on helping them definitely in some of the weeks if i find time definitely i will try to discuss more questions so sorry for it bye mutana i hope you liked it and yes chandraja even i myself waiting for the video launch you know uh, i'm excited to read your comments on the chat thank you shai thank you shalya thank you sandeep thank you dev thank you usmat thank you samet hi nibedita good to see you i hope you are doing in good health thank you hi alien thank you so much i hope you liked it gautam thank you man i hope you liked the session mary thank you so much Asra thank you Franzin thank you so much i hope you like the session jimmy bye pradeep you're welcome i hope you like the session jigar i'm so happy that the session is motivating you a lot motivation is something is very important uh, for this exam you know uh, the simple reason guys this is a pretty long process this preparation is this will take one to two months you know you have to stay motivated that is very important i'm so glad to hear this sessions are motivating you bye same bye pragya you're welcome shankri thank you so much bye pramit look i'm so glad you have liked the session namasa you're welcome thank you for us i good i'm happy to see that you like the session terasa thank you so much venkatesh thank you nachi thank you asebu thank you so much okay <laughs> so vincent again i'm giving you my word i'm making it public my students won't fail in the exam yeah you don't need to worry about it <laughs> okay good you're welcome kumit and glad to know you like the session francin good finally i just stick to my promise for each and every message i replied and thank you so much guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's session yeah and tomorrow it's a big day for us and big day for you guys as well so you will love the video so i will be definitely reading the comment of the video which we are launching tomorrow so please show your love on the comments yeah see you guys bye